how did you get into the head of one of our troops? Mm. I had the opportunity to meet quite a few people, um, beautiful guys who were open and honest, no matter what like that felt like to them, which was flattering, which also gave me a lot of context about, again, the person who I hope Ben Milo is, but also just like, as me, as a person, like, man, you know, so much respect and so much love for these people, and let me just try to do the best I can. Let's talk about your character. Tell mm -hmm. me who he is. Ben Milo is uh, the weapons guy. Ben Milo is, in my opinion, hopefully, everyone else will feel the same, kind of the, the heart, the beating heart of the film, in a sense, uh, because that's, again, that's the relationship, the relationship that he has with um, Najib, played by Arshia, uh, in, the in the movie is, you know, a vital part of why we we moved forward, you know. So, just that relationship, not you know, I don't know. It was just beautiful. Did you have a chance to meet your guy? I did not. I did not. The only two that uh, came out and shared some time with us was uh, Mark and Bob, the two characters played by Chris and Shannon. So, but they had more than enough information about everybody, you know. So it was. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, because, you know, you spend time with these guys for so long, they're like your brothers. So, I don't know, they knew so much, that was so valuable. What was it like on the set? Because we're talking about horses, mm -hmm. explosions, mm -hmm. sand, dust. I mean, it had to be crazy. It was super crazy, but it was, like, so necessary because it makes you, it puts you in the place, puts you in the space, you know. And so, uh, t taking a step out, it's like, oh, man, this is, massive and this is so cool but then when you're in it like I don't know you're worried about your brother you know so you really felt like a soldier absolutely absolutely I mean that's yes that was the whole reason to do it Wow. did you know anything about the story before you got the script not the appropriate story not at all like honestly my perspective of what the whole situation 9-11 was was honestly someone from the Middle East bombed us and we're like Honestly, dislike everybody in the Middle East. That was like the message that I was told at 11 years old. And then you read the book and you read the script and you see the movie and that, it's ridiculous because we were assisted by the Middle East, you know? That's it, that, you know, we were all watching that. That's what my feeling was as I'm watching this movie. We're at home on 9-11 watching these, this mm -hmm. unfold and all this was happening. Mm -hmm. And there were people who were going to, that wanted to go over mm -hmm. there the next day. To save us, to protect us, to defend us. That's amazing. Of course, Rob Riggle, mm -hmm. Marine, for mm -hmm. Marine, did, did you ask him anything or did you, did you kind no. of? No. <laughs> when, like, you know, again, like, whenever, like, the only time I saw Rob was in the space in front of the camera. So, I don't know, it wasn't, I don't know when I was in it, you know, when you're in it, you're in it. And he was. He was in it because he's, he's been it, you know? So it was great. What about working with Chris Hemsworth? Now, he's the leader mm -hmm. of the group. Chris is great, man. Chris is, uh, again, like, that was a large part of the reason why I decided to do the film because Chris and Shannon, Shannon being, again, in my opinion, one of the greatest we have, and then Chris being just this incredible number one, you know, to be able to learn from those two guys on so many different levels, that was everything. Michael Pena seemed to get all the fun lines, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just Pena, though. Like, Pena's like, Pena's a goofball. So it was like, that was just Pena, yeah. Did you learn anything new about yourself? Playing Absolutely. That's, again, like, that's the reason why I, not take, but the reason why, you know, I think it's so valuable to do what we get to do. So I learned, again, like, I learned so much just by meeting the people that I had the opportunity to meet. And getting bits and pieces of their perspective about life as well as this particular scene, or not scene, but this particular moment in time. Yeah. Yeah, just continue to learn more about myself. I feel like I didn't know anything about myself until I started acting, to be honest. Does it amaze you there are people, there are men and women who do this for a living? Yes. I think it's, yes. Yes. Because watching it made me kind of feel like we owe them everything, and, mm -hmm. and, but I, I'm, I'm almost a coward, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, you're unworthy. <sighs> <laughs> Being honest. Yeah. Yeah. 
Is becoming an actor a dream come true, or was there other things that you thought about doing? Uh, I mean, I don't. I mean, now I realize it's a dream come true. I had no idea that this was a thing. So, I mean, obviously, I, you see movies, but I was like, man, it's. I can audition and then get roles. What? Let's do that. What should people take away from Twelve Strong? Hopefully, that or a relatively accurate. I think a relatively accurate depiction of what happened, you know, over there. And hopefully you can develop some kind of sense of perspective because that's so valuable. Because if you don't know something, you're afraid of it or you think it's wrong. You got to know, you know? And so, hopefully. I loved it. I've seen it twice already. Oh my gosh. Thank you. So, liked it even I You got to see it twice because you can kind of start Absolutely. looking at different things. Absolutely. So, how about a message to the troops, to the camera? This will actually play on the screens, on the bases all oh. over the world before the movie opens. I'm Man, honored. thank you so very much. Thank you so, so very much. And I hope you guys enjoy the film. I hope we did something that you would be appreciative of and, and, and like. So, thank you.